Hello there guys and welcome to Monday's live stream. I'm JWF1 and we are here for the final day of testing here at Paul Ricard uh, for day four to be specific. If you didn't see what happened in day three yesterday, very interesting session, but in the end it was Charles Leclerc in the Eldorado that topped the session with Esteban Ocon. It, no, it wasn't actually. Uh, Charles Leclerc first, it was then jo uh, George Russell taking second surprisingly in the Mars Grand Prix car. Very unexpected that was. And in third was Esteban Ocon. Again, getting a little bit mixed up, but they were the top three yesterday. Lewis Hamilton managing fourth in the Etihad, uh, with the EMRs fifth and sixth in the end. Uh, there was also quite a lot of action as well, including Hamilton, Norris, and Felipe Massa as well, which, um, if you didn't see what happened in that, basically Norris and Hamilton caused a collision at Turn 1, and then as soon as Hamilton rejoined the track, he forced Massa off the track, which caused him to spin, and then he ended up rejoining right into the path of Hamilton, and both of them had a crash. So, um, it was a very eventful day yesterday, but a very exciting one as well. The pack yesterday was separated by just 8 tenths of a second, very close indeed. Not the closest we haven't, we've seen throughout the weekend, obviously the previous two days before that were all separated by 7 tenths, but let's see if we can go a little bit closer today. Uh, but before we start then, let's have a look at the drivers who will be taking part in today's session then. So let's have a look then. So for Etihad Racing, you're going to be seeing Lewis Hamilton and their new test driver, Joseph Newgarden. Hamilton and Newgarden reunited for the first time since Season 2 when they were part of Red Bull Audi. EMR will have Sebastian Vettel and Felipe Massa again. Eldorado will have their driver lineup of Charles Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas. Bud Light Lime will yet again have Roman Grosjean and Daniel Kafia. GRM will have their two new test drivers, Tadasuke Makino and Marcus Armstrong. Suomi will again have Kevin Magnus and Nico Kari. Martini will have their two test drivers, Orlando Norris, and their new recruit, Guiliano Alesi. Uh, AMP, you'll be seeing Pascal Verlaine and Stoffel Van Dorn again. BAR, you'll be seeing Scott Dixon and their new test driver, Inam Ahmed. Uh, Shadow, you'll be seeing their driver lineup, Pierre Gasly and Carlos Sainz Jr. And Mars Grand Prix, you'll again see their driver lineup, Felix Rosenquist and George Russell. So, they are the drivers taking part in today's test. A lovely sunny day here at Paul Ricard. So I think without further ado, let's get to the final day here at Paul Ricard. So here we are then in the pit lane. The TV graphics in action yet again. And we're going to go to the end of the pit lane with Joseph Newgarden in the Etihad. So we will wait and get the session underway. It's again an hour session. And let's wait and see who will be the first to get out onto the track this time by. As everybody just waiting for the right time to go out onto the track as well. And let's see who's going to be the man topping the final day of present testing. So far, Charles Leclerc is the fastest in terms of lap times for all the three days by by just under a tenth ahead of Lewis Hamilton. He did a 131.8 yesterday. Let's see if anybody can beat that today. As Tadasuki Mikino in the uh, GRM is the first man out on track now then. The new test driver for GRM. So Tadasuki Mikino out on track he goes as he makes his way through the first two turns on the racetrack as he'll now go into turn three, four and five he'll soon go. Also on the track we have Carlos Sainz Jr. Marcus Armstrong in the GRM after previously being a test driver for Mars Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel out on track as well. Also coming out is Kevin Magnussen and we'll expect Roman Grosjean, Nico Kari, Joseph Newgarden about to come out but he's having to wait for a few cars to go down the pit lane including George Russell and uh, Stoffel Van Dorn. Uh, Valtteri Bottas coming out, Danny Kafia and Lewis Hamilton. Those guys expected to come out on the track in a little bit as Tadasuki Makino heading down the long, long straight and out in here at Paul Ricard before approaching the uh, flat out turn number five on the, tr no not five, turn number eight on the racetrack, Sparks coming off the back of the GOM now. And as he goes flat through the right-hander, using a lot of curb on the outside. He's going to now make his way into the double right-hander. So just making his way through the section of corners now then. A medium speed corner, them double right-handers are. Mikino not holding up anybody at the moment. And he's got some real clear track in front of him. And he'll be hoping to try and get a good lap time in in the GRM if he can. Heading into the final two turns uh, on the racetrack as he will now approach... The, uh, the final corner. And uh, onto the pit street now. Then we will go. As uh, Let's see then. As Makino now is about to start his first flying lap. And across the line he will go. As he will now make his way into the first two turns on the racetrack. As Sainz and Armstrong have just started the lap as well. Through the first two turns then goes Makino. As he will now approach turns three and four and five. The double right hander turns five and six. Makino now then in towards the section of corners as he now makes his way into the double 
Right hander now using a lot of curb on the outside. Through turn six he goes a medium speed corner as he will now approach the 90 degree left hander of turn seven. Let's see what his first split is like. A 33.1, not the fastest we've seen in that first split, but a decent one nonetheless for the young Japanese driver as Makino now then makes his way down the long, long straight as uh, he'll soon come up towards the uh, the turn number eight, the flat out turn number eight on the track. They're not braking until they get to turn nine, so it's quite a long time when they're on the acceleration for off return number eight. There he goes, a 57.066 that time by for Tadasuki Makino. As he now makes his way through the double right-hander. Makino, for anybody unfamiliar with him, I'm surprised you, you're not familiar with him because he is currently racing in Formula 2 at the moment. He's currently Artem Markilov's teammate in that. And he's actually got a victory this year in Formula 2, uh, it must be said. Uh, he's not had the best of years, but he has got a victory to his name. And uh, he's doing uh, quite a and uh, doing a decent job. Not the best, but I expect him to come back probably stronger next season if he is going to stay in Formula 2 in real life. But Makino now then. Heading down the long, long straight. And what's his lap time going to be? It is a 32.372 for Makino. Signs crosses the line to go second fastest in the shadow. Marcus Armstrong is going to cross the line. And he goes third fastest with that lap. As Signs is splitting the two GRM. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line to go fastest by two tenths of a second with a 32.1. Again, not the fastest we've seen all weekend. Here comes Kevin Magnussen then. Around the final turn he will go. And let's see what K-Mag can do. As he will now cross the line and he goes fourth fastest with that lap. Roman Grosjean then slots to fourth ahead of his Haas teammate in real life. Niko Kari goes seventh in the Suomi. George Russell across the line to go sixth fastest. Stoffel van Dorn third with that lap. Jose Newgarn goes to sixth with that lap. Second for Valtteri Bottas. Scott Dixon goes to P number 11. Seventh there for Danny Kafiat. As we now look at Lewis Hamilton in the Etihad. The defending champion rounds the final turn. And let's see... What Lewis Hamilton can manage is he will now cross the line. What's his lap time going to be? Lewis Hamilton across the line and he goes second fastest. A tenth off Sebastian Vettel that time by. Uh, Vettel, so Hamilton slotting into second place just in front of the El Dorado of Valtteri Bottas then. So those 14 guys have done their laps and will be coming back into the pits. So at the moment it's Vettel fastest, Hamilton second, Bottas third, Makino fourth, followed by Van Dorn in fifth, Sainz in sixth, Grosjean seventh, Kvyat eighth, Newgarden ninth, Magnussen tenth, Russell eleventh, Armstrong twelfth, Dixon thirteenth and Kari in fourteenth position at the moment so these guys coming back into the pits and we're expecting another eight cars to do lap times very very soon along with maybe uh, another six who have already done laps to join them in a little bit because usually 14 at maximum go out on the track in terms of groups as Makino now then goes back into the pits for GRM so so far a very good first lap at the moment for him at the moment Vettel at 32.1 that's the slowest we've seen in terms of guys topping the session at the moment it's not the fastest we have seen of course we mentioned it it's currently being held by Charles Leclerc at the moment with a 31.8 just under a tenth ahead of Lewis Hamilton and uh, speaking of Hamilton he's going back into the pits uh, this lap anyway I know it says he's 9,000 up but he's coming back into the pits anyway so uh, if anybody who, uh, who doesn't think that he hasn't obviously got enough fuel to get himself back around of course so um going back into the pits this lap now then as Hamilton makes his way towards the uh, the final two turns on the racetrack as uh, he will now approach the final corner and uh, he will soon flick to the right and into the pit lane we will go as Hamilton comes in as uh, he will now go into his box and uh, Hamilton now then into his pit stop. And we've already got a car on the track in the form of Enam Ahmed for British Airways Racing. Now, Ahmed is a familiar person. Uh, he was the test driver over at GRM, uh, I think, for the last few seasons. But now he's moved to the uh, the rebranded British Airways Racing team, the team formerly known as... Um, the team formerly known as Monster Grand Prix. And uh, the team ran by Daniel McCarmo. As uh, Ahmed now then makes his way through the 90-degree... Left hander on the track coming down the long, long straight on the track. And uh, he'll be preparing to start his lap in a little bit. His teammate, Dixon, at the moment, currently down in 13th place. British Airways Racing have had quite a decent few days, it must be said. They're clearly right into it in the midfield. I think a lot of people didn't think they'd do too much with their drivers, considering that they're, they're well, over the age of 40, both their drivers are. And uh, I think that Barry Keller, in fact, is nearly touching 50, from what I understand. But... Uh, yeah, that's that really, but uh, they're still doing quite a good job in which we said, getting the cars in the midfield, and I think that's probably where Daniel McCarmy probably expects the car to be uh, at this stage. Lando Norris out on track as well uh, for Martini, and uh, so he was in the car yesterday, did quite a decent job, 
and they're looking to try and do a little bit better. If you can, Felix Rosenquist out on track along with Pierre Gasly, Guliano Alesi, Scott Dixon, Joseph Newgarden, Stoffel Van Dorn, Sebastian Vettel out there as well. Uh, Felipe Massa also out there as well. We have Charles Leclerc, Marcus Armstrong, and Pascal Vela and Nico Kari uh, are about to come out as Armand has just started his lap. Luckily for him, Kari wasn't at the end of the pit lane for him to possibly get held up as Enam Ahmed now then makes his way through the first two turns on the racetrack. And uh, he's just going around the section of the corners now, then it? He'll soon approach the uh, turns three, four, five, and six. So through turn three, then into turn four, and then into the double right handers of turns five and six he'll go as he'll soon approach the end of sector one in a little bit through the long swooping at turn six he will go as he makes his way into the left hander let's see what his first split is like he's four thousandths down off Vettel in the first sector remember both the EMR and the BAR powered by the same engine of course the Mercedes engine so uh, Ahmed looking to try and see if he can do a good job in today's test as he makes his way down the long long straight now then on the track and uh, now he will approach uh, the flat out right hander on the racetrack and let's see what Enam Ahmed can do round the right hander he goes uh, so his first split his second split sorry 11 thousandths off Vettel in the second sector now usually this is where all the time seems to be lost let's not forget in this last sector because sector 2 is pretty much a straight and uh, so this is where the time usually gets lost in the last sector because it's a, a little bit more twisty of course it's got a lot more cornering in it than what sector 2 is because it's only got one corner it's that flat out right hander not really that much commitment needed from the drivers as now Inam Ahmed now then heading in towards the final two turns on the racetrack and let's see what the uh, the Brit can do now then I don't know what sort of background he has but uh, uh, he is classified as British as he's now 10th with that lap. So Enam Ahmed slots the 10th in front of Kevin Magnussen at this stage. As Kari behind him starts a lap as we now look at Lando Norris in the Martini. Let's see where Lando Norris can place himself on his first flying lap. And Norris now then is across the line and he goes into fourth. A good time there from Lando Norris. P4 from the young Brit will be driving in IFMC GP2 this season with Red Bull Academy. As Felix Rosenquist makes his way down. The pit straight, what's Rosenquist going to do on his first flying lap? He goes 13th fastest for the moment. Gasly slots to 9th with that lap. Guiliano Alesi slots to 11th. Scott Dixon across the line he will go. And he improves but only remains in 18th. Here's Joseph Newgarden. Across the line he goes. He doesn't improve, remains in 12th. Obviously still trying to get used to the Etihad at the moment. So I don't think Oliver Glazer because he's expecting too much out of the American uh, in today's test. But uh, you never know. He could improve a little bit later on as the track starts to rub it in. Stoffel Van Dorn heading out of the final turn. Let's see what the Belgian can do as Van Dorn now then will cross the line. And he goes fourth fastest. That is something different from the AMP to get himself up into fourth. Because the AMP has been really struggling it must be said. Uh, in these tests so far, but clearly Van Dorn's popped that time out of nowhere. Vettel improves on his best lap at the moment. He now does a 32.067. Here is his teammate for today, Felipe Massa, the test driver for EMR. Across the line he goes. He slots to fifth, so P5 for Massa. Here's Charles Leclerc, and he goes fast by thousands. If we've got a yellow flag, that is down at turn 9 and 10. So who is the culprit in that instance? As uh, who is the one causing an accident? It's Pascal Verlein. He's got a problem. It's a transmission problem for Pascal Verlein. So while his teammates have been fifth, uh, Verlein suffers a transmission problem and he's had to pull off to the side. So Verlein getting a mechanical problem. As uh, we just mentioned earlier, the clear goes fast. He's only by a thousandth though ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Marcus Armstrong doesn't improve, remains in uh, in 19th at the moment. Inamo may going back into the pit. So it's Nico Kari. In the Suomi, so the guys over at turn 10 attempted to clear uh, Newgarden's car. Kari goes up to 13 for that lap. That's, um, so that's his lap done there then. Anybody else on a lap? It doesn't appear like it as Ahmed there goes back into the uh, into the pit. So at the moment then we're just over 49 uh we're just under 49 minutes to go, I should say. Leclerc fastest, Vettel second, Hamilton third, Bottas fourth, Van Dorn fifth, Massa sixth, Norris seventh, Makino in eighth, followed by Sainz ninth, Grosjean tenth, Gasly eleventh, Kvyat twelfth, Kari thirteenth, Alacy fourteenth, Newgarden fifteenth, Ahmed sixteenth, Magnussen seventeenth, followed by Rosenquist eighteenth, Russell nineteenth, Armstrong twentieth, and Dixon in twenty-first. So Russell um, probably not pushing as much as what he did yesterday. But uh, there we are, really. That's why he's down in 19th place at the minute. As we now look at Nikakari, who's now going to approach 
the flat out right hander on the track and he is three tenths off in the second sector as he will now approach the uh, the double right hander now then as he makes his way out of the turn using the curb on the outside there then as he makes his way through the left hander he should go as he uses the curb on the outside as he will now come back into the pits this lap George Russell now then in the Mars Grand Prix car did a very good job yesterday it must be said to get the car up in second place is now out on the track he'll be looking to try and do a good job today if he can as uh, Russell now then makes his way down the long long straight before approaching the flat out turn number I believe it's turn number eight isn't it so up towards the flat out right and he will go as uh, now just making his way through that turn and uh, Verline obviously the only one yet to do a lap because obviously he had his transmission problem just at the corner where Russell is just at now turn 9 and 10 and he pulled off just at the exit of turn 10 over there is now Russell through the left and he goes as he uses the curb quite a bit on the outside now then making his way into the final two corners on the racetrack and Russell just about to start his next flying lap. Tadasuki Mikino is out on the track along with Roman Grosjean, Inam Ahmed, Kevin Magnussen, Lando Norris, Carlos Sainz Jr., Valtteri Bottas, uh, Danny Kafiat, and we're expecting Guiliano Alesi, Felix Rosenquist, Pierre Gasly, Charles Leclerc, and Felipe Massa to also join those guys as uh, uh, Russell has just started his lap now. And in through the first two turns, then goes the Mars Grand Prix driver as he will now make his way into the turns three four and five and six he'll soon go so into the double right under there then goes george russell as he uses quite a bit of curve on the outside through turn six he goes let's see what russell's second sorry first split is like i did this yesterday as well calling it the second sector by accident and he's 600 up on the clear in the first sector so russell getting some good uh, a good first sector in it must be said Russell doing a good job in this car it must be said Russell now they're heading down the long straight and let's see if he can keep it up in the second sector of course we've got to bear in mind the last sector of course because that's where the time usually goes down as uh, Russell now then heading into the flat out turn 80 goes let's see his second split and he's 200 just down in the second sector so he lost a bit of time there that time by to declare and let's see what his last sector is going to be like. It looks like he will be on for an improvement either way, even despite how much time he'll lose in this sector. Because of how twisty it is, he should improve on what he's currently 90th. I don't think that was even a proper lap for uh, for Russell, if I'm completely honest with you. But we'll wait and see. Russell now then up towards the final two turns uh, on the racetrack. And Russell now then into the final corner and onto the pit straight. He will go as Russell now then is going to cross the line. And what's his lap time going to be? And he goes into ninth. So he gets himself into the top ten. But uh, only improve, and, uh, a massive improvement there. He's now three tenths off Leclerc. Tadasuki Mikino doesn't improve. Remains in eighth place at this stage. As uh, now we look at Roman Grosjean now then in the Bud Light Lime. Grosjean currently just outside the top ten at the moment. And let's see what Grosjean can manage. As he makes his way out of the turn. Up towards the final two corners then. Goes Roman Grosjean. Uh, so now he will approach the final two turns on the race track. Now then, let's see what Roman Grosjean can do. Uh, so Grosjean now then is going to cross the line. Can he improve? No, he can't. Remains in P number 11 at this stage. Enam Ahmed across the line goes the British Airways racing driver. No improvement for him. The clear behind him is just about to start a lap. Kevin Magnussen in the Suomi car. What can he manage? Across the line he goes and he improves but only still to 18. So not the best lap as Massa starts a lap but it looks like he could get held up by Magnussen if he's not careful. Norris across the line he goes in the Martini and he remains in 7th place for the moment. So no improvement for him. Carlos Sainz Jr. makes his way down the pit straight. And the Spaniard now then will cross the line and he goes up to 10th. So an improvement there then from size. Well, in fact, he doesn't. He, he only stays and improves on his time and he remains in 10th. Bottas improves but remains in 4th place as uh, Daniel Kafiat does not improve. Remains in 13th for the moment. Two places behind teammate Grosjean. Russell going back into the pits. As we now look at Guiliano Alesi in the Martini. Alesi currently in uh, 15th place just behind Nico Kari. Let's see what Guiliano can manage then on his lap as he will now approach... The, uh, the final two turns on the racetrack. Guiliano Alesi now then up towards the final corner. And onto the pit straight goes the son of, uh, of John Alesi, the one-time Formula 1 winner at the Canadian Grand Prix back in 1995. Guiliano Alesi crosses the line. No improvement remains in 15th place 
at this stage as Gasly behind him remains uh, down in uh, in 12th place at the moment. So, so far split in the two Bud Light Limes. As now we look at Felix Rosenquist across the line goes the Mars Grand Prix driver and he goes up to 15th. So a slight improvement there then from the Season 4 IFMC GP2 champion. Here's the man currently at the top, Charles Leclerc, heading out of the final turn. And Leclerc now then will cross the line. Can he improve on his lap? And no, he can't. Remains on a 32.066. So Leclerc remaining where he is at this stage. Felipe Massa across the line remains in sixth place at this stage. As uh, Norris goes back into the pits. Anybody else out there doing a lap? And the answer to that is no. Well, Verline's now coming out on the track in the spare car as a result of the gearbox problem you just had earlier in the AMP. So now Verline out there in the spare car. As he makes his way through turns one and two, as he'll now approach turns three, four, five, and six in a little bit. Verline hoping he doesn't run into the same problem uh, on his uh, next lap, and because uh, he's yet to, to post a lap time in. His teammate's currently up in fifth place at the moment, so Van Dorn getting a good time in at the moment. But uh, so far, it seems like uh, AMP could be a little bit inconsistent when it comes to lap times. Uh, pointed out the other day, it seems that the only three teams so far that are doing very consistently at the moment when it comes to lap times out of these tests are currently Etihad, EMR and Eldorado at this stage. So it looks like those three could be very strong come the uh, the start of the season. But it could all change, of course. We still do have uh, four more sets of preseason tests to come next weekend. But that will obviously take place in Jaref rather than Paul Ricard. A completely different circuit to this track, of course, because it doesn't have a very long straight, of course. So it's more of a, a downforce track if you ask me rather than the high speed track as uh, now Verline makes his way through the section of corners and now Verline heading into the final two turns on the racetrack also on the track with Verline we have Sebastian Vettel who's only a thousandth off Charles Leclerc so be looking to try and shave a few uh, a few ten, a thousandths off to get himself back to the top. Stoffel Van Dorn out on the track. Lewis Hamilton is as well, as is Marcus Armstrong, Joseph Newgarden, Nico Kari, George Russell, and uh, they are those at the moment. Uh, also coming out on the track, we'll have Tadasuki Mikino, Scott Dixon, Carlos Sainz Jr., Kevin Magnussen, Roman Grosjean, uh, Valtteri Bottas, and that's it. So uh, now we'll go back to Pascal Verlein, who's now at turn four, actually, now then, and into turns five. And six he'll go. And uh, so now around the long swooping turn six he goes. And then into the 90 degree flat out turn seven. Let's see what Verline's first split is like. And uh, let's see now. And so he's one temp off Leclerc in the first sector. Let's see if he can try and keep that up in the second sector. Overall his teammate Stoffel Van Dorn is two temps off Charles Leclerc at the minute. And uh, currently in fifth place. So that should hopefully put a smile on team boss Will Neller's face. That's for sure. Um, because he has been quite frustrated these last few seasons, it must be said, with his cars languishing down in the midfield rather than where they were back in season two where they were fighting towards the front. Although they're still yet to grab that brass ring in terms of victories, it must be said. Verline, one temp down in the uh, the second sector again. Now let's see what he's like in this twisty section of the course. Making his way then round the, uh, the left hand he's in the curb. On the outside there, then, as he'll now make his way into the final two turns on the racetrack. And uh, he will now approach the final corner. And onto the pit straight now, then, goes Pascal Verline. And let's see what he can do then. So Verline, across the line, he will go. And he goes only 17th, so way off the pace of... Um, of his teammate, who's currently up in fifth place. New Garden down in 18th in the Etihad at the moment. Again, I don't think Oliver Glazebrook is expecting too much out of his driver. He is new to the team, so he's obviously trying to get used to the new car. And uh, compared to Lewis Hamilton, who's had a lot more experience in that car. Uh, here is Sebastian Vettel now, then, who now makes his way into the final two turns. Currently a thousandth off Leclerc. Can he try and get back to the top if he can? Up towards the final corner and onto the pitch straight. He will now go as Vettel now then is about to power across the line. And the Mercedes power EMR, what can he do? He doesn't improve. Remains in second place. Only 300 off Leclerc in the end. 300 off his personal best as a result. Valtteri Bottas starting a lap there. Then here comes Stoffel Van Dorn in the AMP. Across the line he will go and no improvement for him. Lewis Hamilton improves but remains in third. He's now only 800s off uh, Charles Leclerc. So the top three only separated by 800s of a second. Marcus Armstrong doesn't improve. Remains 
in uh, in 21st position here comes joseph newgarden in the etihad can he improve on his lap no he can't remains at 18th for the moment he's still only six tenths off the clear at the minute so he's not that far off it must be said uh, at this stage george russell across the line remains in ninth place and nico Kari didn't improve either the guy in front of him as carlos Sainz jr starts the lap as will grosjean and uh, magnus so we now look at tadasuki makino who's currently in eighth place at the moment makino doing a good job in this session at the moment Makino now the young Japanese driver making his way around the left hander using the curb on the outside and let's see what the GRM can do. So far the GRM has looked very very strong it must be said especially in the hands of Esteban Ocon. Will Power still struggling to get to grips with the car at the moment. He's only done two days of running in this car um, but um, obviously quite a decent day yesterday from one of the drivers. I think it was uh, one of the test drivers. It was... Um, who was it? It was in the car yesterday. Uh, either way, Makino doesn't improve. Remains where he is. Dixon improves, but only up to 19th. Only just ahead of his teammates. So British Airways Racing not doing a particularly good job. Down in 19th and 20th. Magnussen's all the way down in 21st, so he's struggling at the minute. Here is Valtteri Bottas now, then. Heading into the final two turns. Currently in fourth. His teammates currently top in the session. And let's see what Valtteri can do then on this lap. Uh, so Valtteri Bottas now then heads down the pit straight. And across the line now then goes the Finn. And can he improve? No, he can't. Remains in fourth place at the moment. Still just under two tenths behind Hamilton who improved on his lap just a little bit earlier on. As uh, now we look at Carlos Sainz Jr. now then in the uh, in the shadow Mercedes which has been uh, nicknamed ironically as the Etihad B team. As now Sainz now then will approach the, uh, the final corner. And onto the pit straight then goes Carlos Sainz Jr. Let's see. What the only Spaniard now on the grid can do now that Fernando Alonso is no longer in the series. Sainz crosses the line and he goes up to 10th. A big improvement there then from Sainz. And again, I'm doing it again. He's only staying in this position, but he has improved on his lap. Still taking a few of a few temps out of the gap between himself and current top man Charles Leclerc. Uh, his former teammate, actually, I should say. Romain Grosjean doesn't improve. Remains in 11th place at this stage. As we now look at Kevin Magnussen, who's down in 21st. Can Magnussen... Improve on his lap. Yes, he can. He goes up to fourth. A really good time there for Magnussen. That's P4 now for the Swami. He gets in front of Valtteri Bottas. So P4 now then for Kevin Magnussen. He did quite a decent job yesterday, it must be said. Clearly, Magnussen getting used to the car more than what Kimi Raikkonen did in the first two days. It must be said. Raikkonen still getting to grips with that car as uh, Norris, Kvyat and Ahmed are now out on the track. As we ride on board with Lando Norris now then making his way into turns three, four and then into the double right hand there on the track. And uh, so now around the right hander, using a lot of curb on the outside. As uh, through turn six he goes, as he'll make his way into the flat out turn seven. As he uses the curb on the outside, now they're heading down the long, long straight on the racetrack. As uh, he'll start his next flying lap in a little bit. Nice currently in eighth, his teammate down in 17th at this stage. As we now go down this long straight now and heading in towards. The flat out right hander we will soon go now then. As uh, Norris now then makes his way down this long straight. Flat he goes then through the right hander. Sparks coming off the back of the Martini. Using a lot of curve on the outside through the double right hander as he will go. And uh, Norris now then makes his way out of the turn using the curve on the outside. And then into the left hander we go. As uh, Norris now then makes his way out of that turn as he will now start his lap. We mentioned that Kvyat and Ahmed are out on track. Who else is out there now? Then we've got Guiliano Alisi, Norris's teammate, out on track. Pierre Gasly out there as well, as is Lewis Hamilton, the defending champion. Charles Leclerc is currently top in the session, out on track, as is Felix Rosenquist, Pascal Verlein, Felipe Massa, and we're expecting Stoffel van Dorn, Sebastian Vettel to also join these guys as well. Norris has just started the lap as we have just over 35 minutes to go in this session. We're right on board with the young Brett as he makes his way through the flat out turns one and two on the track and Norris now they're making his way into turns three four and five he'll soon go so through turn three then into turn four and then into the double right hander of turns five and six now then he goes using a bit of curb on the outside through the right hander he goes as uh, now Norris will make his way through the 90 degree left hander let's see what his first split is like, and he's in fact eight hundreds up on the clear in the first sector. So Norris doing a good job. Martini is also showing quite some good pace, despite the fact they've bought, they've got a new engine this season. They seem to show still some good pace with the Renault engine. It must be said, and Norris 
doing a good job at the moment in the first sector, but we need to see if he's able to keep that up in the remaining two sets of the course. And uh, this straight pretty much really determines who's actually got quite a good engine, it must be said. Let's see. Nice and adding around the right hander. Let's see his second split. 200 off in the second sector. So it's very clear the Renner might not be a quick down the straight. But in the corners, the Martini seems very, very quick, it must be said. And uh, they, they are determined to try and put a challenge this season if they can. Uh, now that they've got a sustainable budget after the controversy the, they had last season, of course, with their budget. But they've now got a really good solid budget. And I think most of that could be down to them selling Ocon last season and uh, also their Ferrari engine to Mars Grand Prix and obviously selling Ocon to uh, to GRM and uh, so far Ocon doing a good job in that GRM it must be said nice Allen out the final turn nice now then let's see what he can do across the line and he goes up to sixth a really good time from nice P6 for the Martini test driver uh, Kvyat doesn't improve remains in 14th Enam Ahmed across the line he goes and he remains in 21st so uh, still above uh, Armstrong at the moment as Vandal's about to start a lap here is Guiliano Lacey now then in towards the final two turns he goes and let's see what Lacey can do as he will now make his way up towards the final turn and onto the pit straight he will go as uh, Lacey now then will come across the line and let's see what his time is going to be he does not improve Lacey remaining in 17th position so that's that for him at the minute as uh, we now look at Pierre Gasly Making his way around that turn now then heading in towards the uh, the final two turns then will come Pierre Gasly in a little bit through the left hander and then into the final corner let's see what Gasly can do Gasly's currently in 13th position get a, get a good job in day one it must be said and that was the the last time he was in this car uh, it's been two days since he's been in it but let's see can Gasly improve on his lap and no, he can't. Remains in 13th place. Clearly being outpaced by signs at the minute, it must be said. Lewis Hamilton in the Etihad racing car. Across the line goes the defending champion. Can he improve on his lap? And no, he can't. He remains in uh, where he is at the moment. As Leclerc goes it goes a little bit faster now. He improves by a tenth of a second. He's now broken into the 1 minute 31s. A 1.31.958. Rosenquist improves, but remains in 16th. As Massa goes up to second. A really good time for Massa. 700 off. Charles Leclerc, so obviously the second place goes Felipe Massa. Verline didn't improve, remains in 18th place at the minute. So Massa with a stunning improvement there uh, in the EMR. Dixon just about to start a lap. That's uh, his teammate there then. You just saw on Enam Ahmed going back into the pits. Here is Stoffel Van Dorn now then, heading out of the final turn. Van Dorn currently in 8th place. Let's see if the Belgian can improve across the line. And no, he can't. Remains in 8th place for the minute. Here's Sebastian Vettel, who looks to be on an improvement in the middle sector. He's only 14 thousandths off Leclerc in the uh, in the second sector. So the EMR is looking very quick today, it must be said. Massa and Vettel uh, showing some really good pace, it must be said. Massa showing a little bit more than what Vettel did yesterday, and clearly showing that in a, also. But could that change? Because Vettel looks to be on an improvement. Hello, it does all depends how he hooks up this last sector, it caught, of course, as he now approaches... The final corner, let's see what Sebastian Vettel can do then in the EMR as he makes his way down the pitch straight. And Vettel now then is going to cross the line and he doesn't improve. Loses quite a bit of time in the last sector and remains in third position behind uh, test driver teammate Felipe Massa. Here is Marcus Armstrong now then across the line goes the Kiwi. And uh, he is classed as Italian in Formula 3, but uh, his real nationality is actually Kiwi. Uh, he doesn't improve, remains in last place. The whole pack at the moment separated by eight tenths of a second, so... Kind of like yesterday, really. Still very close, it must be said. As uh, so now we look at Dixon, who's on a lap. Scott Dixon, who's currently down in 20th. His teammate, 21st. The BAR not doing a particularly good job today. I wonder if they're actually pushing or not. As Dixon now then makes his way up towards the uh, the final two turns on the racetrack. Let's see what Dixon can do as he makes his way around the final corner and onto the pit straight. He will go, and Dixon now then is going to come across the line. And what can he do? He does not improve and remains in a 20th position with that lap there then. Joseph Newgarn's coming out of the track. He's down in 19th. Uh, expect a little bit more of an improvement from the American. And that maybe could come in a little bit, but we'll wait and see. But he's now out on the track going flat out. Through the flat out turn 8 now. Then he goes and he makes his way through the double uh, right hander now then. As uh, um, Armstrong's going back in. Kari has also come out on the track. As has George Russell, who's in the cusp of the top 10. Bottas, Makino, and Grosjean have come out. Armand's about to come out, as is Carlos Sainz Jr., along with Kevin Manison, Danny Kafia, 
Lando Norris and I would presume a couple of others because there's still some people who need to come into the pits and some more cars to spawn into the pit lane. As now, Joseph Newgarden through the final turn as he's now about to start his next flying lap as he looks to try and improve. Uh, so he's trying to get a lot more running as possible in this Etihad if he can. As Newgarden now then makes his way into the first two turns on the racetrack. And uh, Newgarden now then through turn one. And then into turn two he will go. As he now comes off the turn. Now they're making his way into turns three, four and five. Breaking down into these corners. Now then through the right. Then the left. And then into the double right. And there we go. And uh, Newgarden now then using a bit of the curb on the outside. Through the long sweeping right. And he will go. And let's see what his uh, first split is like. And Newgarden is two tenths down. In the first sector there then. So not the best first sector it must be said. For the uh, for the American as we ride on board. With Joseph Newgarden. Uh, so he will now make his way. Up towards the flat out right hander in a little bit. And Newgarden now then. Up towards the flat out right hander he goes. And let's see what his second split is like. Two tenths down in that sector as well. Uh, let's see if he can try and hook it up for an improvement. It depends how he hooks up this last sector of course. Through the double Right hander down then goes the American using a little bit of curb on the outside as he'll now make his way into the left hander. And uh, so Newgarden now then using the curb on the outside as he'll now approach the uh, the final two turns. And Newgarden now then through the left hander and then into the final turn. He will go on the racetrack heading down the pit straight and Joseph Newgarden is now going uh, across the line. And can he improve on his lap? And no, he can't. Remains in uh, in 19th position. Still just getting a little bit of a feel of the Etihad at this stage. Nikukari across the line. No improvement for him. Remains in... Uh, where is Kari at the moment? Kari is 15th at the moment. So he remains where he is at this stage. As his teammate is about to start a lap. As is Denny Kvyat. Uh, Russell, three times down that time by in the second sector. So this is clearly not an improvement. Uh, so clearly just probably just uh, getting just a little bit of a, a mileage run possibly from Mars Grand Prix at this stage. As he now makes his way out of the left hander up towards the final two turns we go on the racetrack. Let's see what George Russell can do through the second to last corner and then into the final corner. And then he'll come onto the pit straight. Out of the final turn onto the pit straight. And George Russell is about to cross the line. Let's see what the Mars Grand Prix driver can do across the line. And no improvement Russell. Remaining in uh, in tenth position at this stage, uh, so Gasly's just about to start a lap. Here's Valtteri Bottas in the Eldorado, and uh, let's see what Bottas can do. And the uh, the Finn now then will cross the line, and he improves but remains in sixth place. He's only three thousandths off Magnussen that time by. Makino doesn't improve. Grosjean doesn't either. What about Carlos Sainz Jr. in the shadow? Cross the line, no improvement for him. Enam Ahmed doesn't improve either. As, uh, now we look at Norris. It looked like he had a little bit of understeer there on the exit of uh, turn 11 there. So Norris very get, getting on the ragged edge, it seems, a little bit in the Martini. Now up towards the final turn he goes. And let's see what his lap is going to be. As he's currently in seventh place at this stage. Uh, Norris crossing the line. I think that's his teammate behind him. Norris does not improve as his teammate, Guiliano Alessi, starts a lap. Now then, as we will now look at Kevin Magnussen in the Suomi, currently fifth at this stage. Let's see what the Dane can do. Kevin Magnussen across the line. And no improvement remains in fifth place at this stage. As Charles Leclerc is about to start another lap in a bit. Here is Danny Kafiat Up towards the final two turns, he will soon go. And now up towards the final corner. And onto the pitch straight then goes Danny Kafiat And Kafiat now then is going to cross the line. And can he improve? He does. He goes up to fifth. A big improvement there then for Danny Kafiat. He gets the Bud Light line now then up into fifth place. A good time there then for the uh, the young Russian. Here is Pierre Gasly. Up towards the final turn he goes. Can Gasly find some time to improve if he can? Currently 14th at the moment. Is Gasly going to improve on his lap? And yes he can. He goes up to 11. So he's just outside the top 10 but he does improve to go up into P number 11 that time by. As uh, now we look at Guidiano Alessi, who's three times off that time by in the second sector. As now ride on board with the young Frenchman. He is the son of uh, of the former Ferrari driver, Jean Alessi. And uh, 
pretty much a fan favourite in Italy, it must be said, when he was racing. And uh, he still pretty much considers Italy probably as his second home, really, as um, his name usually pops up as the, on the legends list every time we go to Italy. Um, and he usually does the podium interviews, doesn't he? But meantime, his son, Guiliano, is about to cross the line and he does not improve. He remains in 17th place at the minute as... Um, as uh, now we look at Charles Leclerc up towards the final turn he goes. And can he improve on his 1 minute 31.958? Charles Leclerc is going to cross the line. And the Monegasque, what can he do? No improvement. Three temps off his personal best as the AMP of Stoffel Van Dorn, I believe it is. It is Stoffel Van Dorn. has just gone out onto the uh, onto the track. As uh, Rosenquist also has as well, along with Massa. So uh, two guys came out before Van Dorn did. As, uh, so... With just over 24 minutes to go, here is what the leaderboard looks like then. It's the clear fastest with Massa second, Vettel third, Hamilton fourth, Kibiat fifth, Magnussen sixth, Bottas seventh, with Norris eighth, Van Dorn ninth, Makino tenth, Gasly eleventh, Russell twelfth, Sainz thirteenth, Grosjean fourteenth, Carby fifteenth, Rosenquist sixteenth, with Lacey seventeenth, Verline eighteenth, Newgarden nineteenth, Dixon twentieth, Ahmed twenty first, and uh, Armstrong in twenty second position. So that's how that looks at the moment. As uh, now Felix Rosenquist will make his way now then into the left-hander. And uh, just coming off the turn as he will now make his way now then up towards the final two corners on the racetrack. Through the left-hander he goes as he will now come up towards the final corner. So through the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Felix Rosenquist as he will now start his lap. Also coming out is his teammate George Russell so he's now out there on the track. Running on board with Rosenquist now then as he makes his way down the pit straight. And now up towards the first two turns he goes on the track. Rosenquist through the left-hander and then into turn two. He will now go as uh, he will now approach turns three, four and five in a little bit. Massa uh, out there as well, but it looks like his lap might... He could compromise Newgarn's lap in a little bit unless Newgarn can get past him in a little bit. As uh, Rosenquist now then through the double right-hander. He goes through the long sweeping right-hander. And then up towards the flat out left and he will go. Let's see what his first split is like. And he's one tenth down in the first sector that time by. Let's see what his second split is like. He's now right on board with the season four IFMT GP2 champion. As he makes his way down the long, long straight on the track. And you can hear the grunt of that Ferrari V12 coming out the back of Felix Rosenquist now then. And then up towards the flat out right hander will go the Swede. And uh, let's see what his second split is like. Seven hundreds off in the second sector. So he gained quite a bit that time by where he's Rosenquist at the moment. He's currently 16, five tenths off. Depending on how he could hook up this last sector, he might be able to improve. But we have seen instances where, dr excuse me, where drivers have been losing around about five to six tenths in the last sector. So uh, Rosenquist could end up doing that. But we'll have to wait and see now. Then as the Mars Grand Prix car heads in towards <clears throat> the, uh, the final two turns. Into the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Felix Rosenquist as he will now cross the line. And the Swede, can he improve on his lap? It doesn't look like it. Oh, no, in fact, he does. He goes up to 14. So Rosenquist improves and gets up a few places. Massa doesn't improve. Newgarn's starting his lap, but he's hoping that Massa in front of him doesn't hold him up as he's down in 19th place. Here's Stoffel Van Dorn in the AMP now approaching the final two turns. And let's see... What Van Dorn is able to manage. As he just makes his way out of the final turn and onto the pit straight. He will go. And Van Dorn now then will come across the line. Can he improve? And he can. He's He does improve, but he remains in ninth position. He's only three temps off Leclerc at this stage. Uh, so now we look at Sebastian Vettel in the EMR. Let's see what the East Midlands racing driver can do. He doesn't improve and remains in third place. Still a tenth off his future Ferrari teammate in real life, Charles Leclerc. As now we look at Pascal Verlaine. Into the final turn he goes. As he's got Lewis Hamilton, I believe that is, behind him. Lewis is also on a lap. I don't know if Verlaine is compromising him in any way. As Verlaine crosses the line, does not improve, and nor does Hamilton. He remains in fourth. Scott Dixon doesn't improve, remains in 20th position. Here comes Marcus Armstrong heading down the pitch straight, and Armstrong... He's going to cross the line, and he goes up to 14. So an improvement there now from Armstrong. The GRM getting up into P14. Nico Carr remains where he is at the moment, which is 17th. As George Russell's on a lap as we ride on board with the Mars Grand Prix driver. Russell currently in 12th. See what he can do as he rounds the final turn. And onto the pit straight, he will go. And Russell now then 
will come across the line. And does he improve? No, he can't. Remains where he is at the moment. Grosjean starting a lap. As uh, so now we look at Joseph Newgarden. Can he improve on his lap? Across the line? No, he can't. Remains in, uh, in 20th at this stage. So that's that for him. As we now look at Tadasuki Mikino. And uh, the Japanese driver now then will cross the line. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Remains where he is at the moment. As Valtteri Bottas just about to start a lap there then. Uh, so we look for somebody else who's on a lap and uh, it would be Grosjean but it looks like he's getting held up a bit it must be said by George Russell in the Mars Grand Prix cars we have just under 20 minutes to go here for the final day here at Paul Ricard as uh, Grosjean trying to tag along to Russell's slipstream if he can down the long straight and in down this long straight uh, we will now go as they'll make their way up towards the flat out right hander on the racetrack running on board with Grosjean and then through the long swooping right hander we go and he's one tenth off in the second sector. Pretty much using Russell there as a bit of an aid, it must be said. He's currently down in 16th, five tenths off Leclerc. I'm not sure about an improvement though uh, for Grosjean, but we'll wait and see anyways. He tries to reel in some time a little bit on the man that's currently on the top. That man being his former teammate actually for four races in season three, uh, Charles Leclerc. As uh, so now we look at Grosjean right on the back of Russell. So now it looks like Russell is definitely holding up the Frenchman. As now into the final two turns. We will go as he makes his way into the final corner. And onto the pit straight then goes Grosjean as Russell peels to the right to go back into the pits. Grosjean across the line he will go. And can he improve? He doesn't. He remains where he is at this stage. As uh, so now we look at Bottas now then who makes his way up towards the final two turns. Let's see what Valtteri Bottas can do. As uh, now Bottas will approach the final corner. And onto the pit straight we go. And uh, Bottas now then is going to cross the line. Can he improve? And he can. He goes up to fourth. So a big improvement there then for Bottas. Up to P4 goes the uh, the Eldorados. So the top four consisting of Eldorados and EMRs at the moment. Hamilton just outside of it at the moment in fifth place. So uh, that's that for him really. So a good time from Valtteri Bottas it must be said. As uh, Kevin Magnussen is now out on the track along with Carlos Sainz Jr. So Jr. came out just before Kevin Magnussen did. As uh, now we will approach the final two turns on the racetrack. Sainz about to start his uh, next flying lap as the shadow just prepares itself now then. And in down the long straight we go. And Sainz now then about to start his lap as he goes down the long straight. And uh, Sainz now then up towards turn one he goes. As Carlos now then makes his way through turn one and then into turn two, he will now go. And the uh, signs now then through the right, then the left, and then into the right hand that he will soon go. Of the double right hand of turns five and uh, six. So through these corners then we go as we look at Carlos Sainz through turn six he goes. As uh, now he'll make his way into the flat out left hander. And signs his first sector, he's one tenth down off Leclerc, his former teammate in the first sector there. Then, as signs makes his way down the long, long straight, as signs now then makes his way down the long straight, signs now then will approach turn number eight on the track. And uh, so now, signs will approach the right hander. Let's see what signs can do, and he is one tenth down. In the second sector again. Let's see how he hooks up this uh, last sector. Signs currently in 13, four tenths off Leclerc. Uh, don't know about an improvement, but we'll see what the young Spaniard can do. Around the left hander he goes. As he uses quite a bit of curb on the outside there, then up towards the final two corners, then goes Carlos Sainz Jr. As he makes his way around the, uh, the left hander, and then up towards the final corner goes Carlos Sainz Jr. As he'll now make his way down the pitch straight. And Sainz is going to cross the line. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Sainz remaining where he is at this stage. As we now look at Felix Rosenquist. Who is uh, just starting his lap now then. As we look at Pascal Verlaine also about to start a lap as well. Kevin Magnussen will now look at. Let's see what the Dane's second split is going to consist of. Through the right hander he goes. Two tenths down in the second sector. So I don't think Magnussen is on for an improvement. But you never know, of course, he could perform a bit of a miracle in the last set, too, it must be said. Just under 16 minutes to go now, then, 
in this session as the whole pack is separated by seven tenths of a second. I've just realized that. So just like the first two days, very, very close as the whole pack separated by seven tenths of a second. Through the left hand of that in goes Magnuson as he will soon approach the final corner. So up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Kevin Magnuson. As he will now finish off his lap, Magnuson is going to cross the line and he doesn't improve. Magnuson remaining in uh, where is he in seventh place for the moment. Here's Charles Leclerc, the man currently top in the session at the moment. Leclerc now then heading his way down the pit straight and Leclerc now then is going to cross the line. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Leclerc remaining on a 131.958 at the moment. Here is Lando Nice in the Martini. Across the line, he'll go. And Lando Nice does not improve. Guliano Alesi improves to go up into 17th. So a slight improvement there. Kvyat doesn't improve. Ahmed goes up to 19th. So an improvement there. Then he pushes his teammate down to the last. Gasly doesn't improve. Remains where he is uh, at the moment, which is 11th. So just outside the top 10. Felix Rosenquist now then, out of the final turn. And let's see what Rosenquist can do. Across the line goes the Swede. And no improvement for him. He remains in uh, 15th place at the minute. Pascal Verlein across the line he will go. And he goes up to 14th. So a slight improvement there then for Verlein, But still nowhere near Vanderbilt. Anyway. Massa doesn't improve. His Vettel looks like he's going to get held up by his own teammate. So that's not good news for him. Hamilton goes fastest. Hamilton beats Leclerc to the top of the time machine by nearly a tenth. So Hamilton goes fastest with a 131.860. I'm not sure if that just about beats Leclerc. We'll probably have to check that. But it might challenge Leclerc. I'm sure somebody will check that out for me while I'm streaming this. Whether Hamilton has just knocked off Leclerc's best time from yesterday. Uh, so now Van Dorn now then will make his way around the double right-hander. As Van Dorn now then will make his way up towards the left hand of Alden, currently in ninth place. Let's see what he's able to do. As Sir Van Dorn now then approaches the final two corners on the racetrack through the left and then into the final corner goes Stoffel Van Dorn. And he'll make his way down the pit straight. And across the line goes the Belgian. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Remains where he is at the moment, which is ninth place. As Armstrong's just about to come out to do to prepare himself for another lap in a little bit. As uh, so we look for somebody else. Now that, that'll be Vettel, but it looks like his own teammate, Felipe Massa, is holding him up at the minute. So through the, uh, the left hander we go. As uh, it looks like he's getting a lot of t hot turbulent air coming off the back of Massa. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Vettel's... Um, Arms come out, probably waving blue flag, blue flag, blue flag. But uh, anyway, into the final corner he goes. Uh, so he's really getting held up by Massa. Let's see how much his teammate held him up on that lab. He's now broken free from Massa, but how much time did he lose from that? Vettel across the line, and he's six tenths off. So that's a, quite a bit of time he lost. Maybe if he'd not been held up, Vettel could have been on for a bit of an improvement. But uh, you, you don't know really, do you? But uh, anyway... That's that really as far as they're concerned. Marcus Armstrong, as we just mentioned, has come out onto the track for GRM. Currently in 15th. His teammate currently just in the cusp of the top 10, Tadasuki Mikino. And uh, so now Armstrong through the flat out turn 8 he goes. As he'll now make his way through the uh, triple, the double right hander of turns 9 and 10. And the Kiwi now then just using a tad bit of curb on the outside into the left hander he goes. And uh, so now he's just getting off the turn now. Then approaching the final uh, couple of corners on the track through the left-hander. And then up towards the final corner will go Marcus Armstrong. As now he will come down the pit straight. And Armstrong now then is about to start his next flying lap. He'll be hoping that no cars are going to impede him as they come out of the pits. And uh, it looks like his own teammate might do that, Tadasuki Makino. But Armstrong just disposes of him pretty quickly. And uh, just got a little bit of a gap between himself and the Eldorado in front. Not quite sure which Eldorado that is. It is Valtteri Bottas that's in front of Armstrong at the moment. So that's that really. Is now through the right and left hander. Looks like uh, Makino, Armstrong's teammate for the day, trying to get a little bit of a slipstream off him if he can. So around the double right hander now, then goes Marcus Armstrong. As now he'll just make his way around through these section of the corners through the uh, the 90 degree left hander his first split two tenths down off Hamilton in the first sector uh, so now he'll make his way down the straight Armstrong now then 
coming down the long straight on the track as he'll soon approach the flat out right hander and uh, so now up towards the right hander we will go and let's see what his second split is like two temps down again he cut a little bit down in that second sector as his teammate pretty much using him as a bit of a slipstream it must be said I wonder if he'll try and pass him into turn three uh, once his lap starts and through the left hander we go with just over 10 minutes to go here for the final day at Paul Ricard before we head off to Haref next weekend for the second and final set of preseason tests and now Armstrong now then into the final two turns up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight will come Marcus Armstrong and uh, Armstrong now then is going to cross the line and can he improve? No, he can't. Remains where he is at the moment as his teammate just starts to lap along with Roman Groves. And he could get a little bit held up as well by the pair of them at the moment. Norris and, uh, sorry, Kari and Sainz just about to start laps as is Kafiat. As now we look at Dixon, who's two tenths off in the first sector. As he now comes down the long, long straight on the track. And the Kiwi now then. Sparks coming off the back of the British Airways racing car. Heading down this long, long straight. <clears throat> as he will now approach... The flat out right hander in a little bit as his teammate behind him, uh, Enam Ahmed, will be starting a lap in a little bit. Through the long sweeping right hander we go. Dixon one tenth down in the, the uh, second sector. So if he can hook up the last sector pretty well, Dixon could be on for an improvement. But we will wait and see as he'll now make his way into turn number 11 on the track. Uh, using the curb on the outside now then before approaching... The final two turns, let's see what Scott Dixon can do through the left-hander and then up towards the uh, the final corner we go. And uh, so now heading down the pitch straight and Dixon is going to cross the line. And uh, the Kiwi will cross the line now then and he doesn't improve. He lost quite a bit of time in that last sector and uh, remains where he is uh, at the present moment. I don't know why he said he was five turns off. I wonder if it meant he's... Off his personal best. His new garden improves, but only up into 13th. Enam Ahmed didn't improve on his lap. He'd already started a lap. Magnussen doesn't improve as Valtteri Bottas is going to cross the line and he remains where he is at the moment. Two temps off. Here is uh, Tadosuke Mikino and he doesn't improve either. Nor does Roman Grosjean, nor does George Russell. He got a little bit held up as well. Here comes Niko Kari and the Suomi. Across the line goes the young Fen, and he improves, but only up into 20th position. As we now look at Carlos Sainz Jr., he remains where he is at the moment, which is 13th. Guiliano Alessi about to start lap here is Daniel Kafiat, making his way now then through the left-hander. As he uses quite a bit of curb on the outside, approaching the final two turns. And Kafiat now then, let's see what his lap is going to be. He's currently in 6th, doing a good job in this session, compared to teammate Grosjean, who's all the way down in 18th place so Kvyat's had the measure of both his teammates it must be said throughout these tests as now Kvyat crosses the line can he improve and no he can't he remains in sixth place with that lap there then uh, so now we'll try and find somebody else who's on the lap that would be Lando Norris and luckily for him he's not getting held up by Kari in front so he's able to get a clear run on this lap as we ride on board with Norris now then coming down the long long straight as we hear the Renault powered V12 in the back of the Martini and through the flat out uh, turn 80 goes two tenths off in the second sector Norris currently in 8th place I'm not sure if the young Brick can improve but we'll wait and see as he goes through the section of corners using a lot of curb on the outside now up towards the left under we go as uh, now he uses quite a lot of curb on the outside up towards the final two turns then goes Lando Norris as we have just over seven minutes to go here in the final day at Paul Ricard through the left hander and then up towards the final corner goes Lando Norris heading down the pit straight and Norris now then is going to cross the line can he improve and no he can't Norris remaining where he is at the moment which is, uh, well, in fact, well, six tenths off, it said in the end there. I don't know why it said one tenth. I think we're having a few uh, graphical glitches at the moment. That's probably why I was a bit confused with Dixon being only five tenths down in that last sector. Probably the graphics there getting a little bit confused between his personal best and the actual time he was uh, slower by. So, um, yeah, so a little bit of a few hitches here and there with the graphics today. So I do apologize for that. As uh, Alacy now then comes across the line and he does not improve. He remains in 19th position. 
As, uh, now we'll try and find somebody else who's on a lap. Not Gasly yet. He's about to start one along with Leclerc as well. Uh, both of them Etihad employees as well. And uh, Gasly obviously being the replacement for the Clare at Shadow as a result of the Clare moving to El Dorado, of course, replacing Perez, who went off to Bud Light Line Motorsport to replace Antonio Giovinazzi, who went off to Martini Motorsport, replacing Esteban Ocon, who went off to GRM in place of Daniel Ricciardo, who went off to Etihad in place of Fernando Alonso, who's in IndyCar. So it's kind of like a full circle, really, if you uh, if you ask me about that. But... Uh, there we go, really. Just another six minutes to go now, then. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. As Gasly's about to start his next flying, uh, next flying lap. It's Hamilton top of the moment. Leclerc second. Massa third. Vettel fourth. Bottas fifth. Kvyat sixth. With Magnussen seventh. Norris eighth. Van Dorn ninth. Makino tenth. Gasly in eleventh. Followed by Russell in twelfth. Sainz thirteenth. Verline fourteenth. Armstrong fifteenth. New Garden sixteenth. Rosenquist seventeenth. With Grosjean in eighteenth. Alesi nineteenth. Kari twentieth. Ahmed twenty-first. And Dixon in twenty-second position. As Gasly should start his lap. He's now makes his way out of the first two turns on the racetrack. Gasly now that makes his way up towards turn three. Four and five. And now they're making his way into these uh, section of corners. And uh, now Gasly up towards the 90 degree left hander. Let's see what his first plate is like. Two tenths down in the first sector now, then. And now heading down the long, long straight we go. As we now have got five minutes left on the clock. Let's see what Pierre can do. And uh, so now Gasly will approach the, uh, the long swooping right hand there in a bit of turn eight. A flat out turn eight he goes. Let's see what his second split is like. Three times down that time by. Probably not from for an improvement, but we will wait and see. Out of the double right hander we go. We're just past the seven o'clock mark for anybody wondering. We haven't really been keeping an eye on the time have we in today's session. It must be said. We have just passed the seven o'clock mark. We passed it three minutes ago, it must be said. As now, here is Pierre Gasly now then up towards the uh, the final two turns. And let's see what the shadow can do. Round the left hander he goes. And the young Frenchman through the right hander knows his trap pretty well, it must be said. And uh, obviously using his, uh, his knowledge to good effect. Gasly now then. Across the line he goes, and can he improve? No, he can't. Remains where he is at the moment, as uh, Hamilton is about to start that, looking to improve on his 31.860 at the moment, as Vandal's about to start that, along with Dixon and Vettel and Armstrong. Here is Charles Leclerc, determined to try and get back to the top of, ahead of Lewis Hamilton, as Leclerc now then makes his way out of the final turn. And Charles Leclerc now then is going to cross the line. Let's see what the Monogas can do. Can he improve? And no, he can't. Remains... In second place, still 900 off Hamilton in the end there. Then here comes Felix Rosenquist, who's down in 17th position. As he'll now make his way up towards the final two turns. And let's see what Rosenquist can do. Around the final corner. And onto the pit straight we go. As Rosenquist now then is about to come across the line. Can the Swede improve? And no, he can't. Rosenquist remaining in 17th uh, position. His car is about to start a lap. Here's Felipe Massa out of the final turn. Let's see what Massa can do then on his lap. As Massa now then is going to cross the line. And the Brazilian veteran, can he improve? No, he can't. Remains in third with that lap. As Verline remains in 14th. No improvement for him. Here's Joseph Newgarden, the Etihad test driver now then. Heading up towards the final two turns. And let's see what Joseph Newgarden can do then on his lap as he makes his way up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight he will now go as new garden now then will cross the line can the american find some time to improve no he can't in fact he's way off there i wonder if he's made a mistake on his lap because he doesn't improve by over a second so he remains in 16th with that lap is his teammate for today lewis hamilton and uh, can hamilton improve on his current uh, fastest lap nope remains on the 31.860 uh, that time by as the stop of andor is about to finish off a lap russell's just started one van Dorn remains ninth no improvement scott dixon remains in last position vettel remains in fourth a lot of these heading on on their final flying laps it must be said armstrong remains in 15th for the moment here is tadasuki makino about to start his final flying lap it must be said considering the amount of time we've got left in the session you can now then through the, uh, the left hander he goes using a tad bit of curb on the outside. He's going to now make his way up towards the final two turns. And let's see what Nico Kari can manage through the left hander and then into the final corner. 
and on to the uh, the pitch straight will go the young Finn Nikukari now then across the line he will go can he improve and no he can't Kari remaining in uh, in 20th position with that lap there then there's a few guys go back with the pits as we now look at George Russell who's on a lap let's see what his second split is like flat through the right hander and uh, he's way off actually four tenths in the second set team he's looking like he's not be on for the so probably just getting a mileage run then on his uh, final flying lap as uh, Russell uses a tad bit of curb there on the outside there then into the left hander he goes as uh, now he uses a bit of curb on the outside and then up towards the final two turns we go we'll see what he does anyway through the left hander he goes now then and then into the final corner and then he'll go Onto the pit straight now. There's New Garden gets a checkered flag next to his name, so he's done for the day. Russell across the line, and no improvement by a second, and remains in 12th position as uh, Van Dorn gets the checkered flag next to his name now. Then we're just under a minute to go, uh, as does Sebastian Vettel, as does Marcus Armstrong and Scott Dixon. So the two Kiwis are finished for the day. Here is Tadasuki Makino, and Makino across the line, and he remains. In, uh, in tenth position, so that's that for him. Really, his Grosjean's coming out on track. X Patch will allow him to do that lap, of course, because that's how, for some reason, that works out. On uh, X Patch, is Bottas out there to do one more flying lap along with Grosjean? So it seems that it's just going to be those two to finish off uh, laps. It seems as Bottas now then makes his way around the uh, the double uh, right hander now. Then as uh, Bottas now he's using a tad bit of curb. On the outside there, then as the Finn makes his way around the left hander, eight seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Checkered flag is out, and that is the end of the session. Nico Kari has now got the checkered flag next to his name. Bottas and Grosjean should be able to do one more lap because that's how X Patch works on this game. It's quite weird, I know, uh, but Bottas will be able to complete this lap as he will start one now, then, and now make his way down towards. The first two turns uh, on the racetrack for the left and then into the right hand that he will now go. Uh, so now he will approach turns three, four and five. So through the right, then the left and then into the double right hand that he will soon go. So going around the double right hand and now then goes Bottas using a bit of curb on the outside through the long swooping right hander. Uh, so now he just goes around these section of corners now then. As uh, Sebastian Vettel has got the checkered flag uh, next to his name now then. So he's done for the day. As has Tadasuki Makino. So he's done for the day. And uh, so now heading down the long straight goes Bottas. I was paying more attention to the timing screen on the left. That uh, I wasn't paying attention to what Bottas' first split was like then. Let's see his second split now then. As he goes around the flat out turn 8. And he's three temps down in the second set. As a Bottas not on for an improvement. Just probably getting a mileage run for the team. But Eldorado should give themselves a pat on the back. Second and fifth. It's looking very promising for the Romanian team. Ran by Robert Ionescu. George Russell now gets the checkered flag next to his name. So he's obviously done for the day. As now up towards the final two turns then. We'll go. Uh, the Finn, Valtteri Bottas through the left and then up towards the final turn then will go Valtteri through the final corner and onto the pit straight goes Valtteri Bottas as he will now cross the line and let's see what he can do, can he improve nope, remains in fifth, wasn't able to pull off a miracle in the last set of Grosjean only just on a lap at the moment as uh, so he's just now going to come up approaching the, uh, the end of sector 2 now then as uh, Grosjean now then through the flat out a right hander he goes as now through the double right hander he goes five tenths off in the second sector. Grosjean, of course, just like uh, with Bottas, doesn't look to be on an improvement using a bit of a curb on the outside. As he'll now come around these final few turns to complete the lap, which is probably getting a little bit of a mileage run for Bud Light Line Road Motorsport, the team ran by Sean Grant. As now Grosjean makes his way through the left hander and then up towards the, uh, the final corner, then goes Roman. And then down the pit straight, and Roman Grosjean is going to cross the line. Can he improve on his lap? And no, he can't. Doesn't perform a miracle and remains in 18th position. And that is going to do it. That is the end of the Paul Ricard preseason testing. So as a result of that, here are the results of day number four here. 
Lewis Hamilton is the fastest with Leclerc second, and then it is Massa third, Vettel fourth, Bottas fifth, Kvyat sixth, Magnussen seventh, Norris in eighth, Vandal ninth, Makino tenth, Gasly eleventh, followed by Russell twelfth, Sainz in thirteenth, Verline fourteenth, Armstrong fifteenth, Newgarden in sixteenth, with Rosenquist seventeenth, Grosjean in eighteenth, and then it is Lacey nineteenth, Kari in twentieth, with um, Ahmed in twenty-first, and Dixon in in 22nd position so we will wait for the for Grosjean and Bottas to go back into the pits as Bottas gets the checkered flag next to his name I think he's probably back in the pits now anyway we'll then remind you what the result is from day number four and then we will conclude this week's live streams there and uh, before coming back next weekend at her ref so um let me just click on the right one I believe it's this one I could be wrong it ain't it is this one so let me just put that over there. So if you saw that briefly, as uh, now Grosjean now then through the left and he will now go. And uh, so now he will approach the final two turns on the racetrack. And Grosjean will head back into the pits this lap, of course, to complete his day. It's not been a great day for Grosjean being all the way down in 18th place. I'll look to try and rectify that next weekend if he can. As uh, so now Grosjean's in and that is... He's just going to about to do it. You just saw the, the words free practice just appear briefly there. And there you have it then. That has been it from today's test then here at Paul Ricard. And for this week's test as well. A reminder then of Dave's Rolls results. It was Lewis Hamilton fastest with Charles Leclerc second. Philippe Massa third. Sebastian Vettel fourth. Valtteri Bottas fifth. Danny Kafia in sixth. Followed by Kevin Magnus in seventh. Lando Norris eighth. Stoffel Van Dorn ninth. Talasuki Mikino tenth. With Pierre Gasly eleventh. George Russell twelfth. Carl Sainz Jr. thirteenth. With Pascal Verlein 14th, Marcus Armstrong 15th, Joseph Newgarden 16th, Felix Rosenquist 17th, Roman Grosjean 18th, Guiliano Alesi 19th, Nico Kari 20th, Enam Ahmed in 21st, and in 22nd and last was Scott Dixon. The whole pack separated by 8 tenths of a second there, so pretty much like what it was yesterday. But there you have it then, guys. That has been it, not just for today, but for this weekend's test. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been very entertaining indeed, and uh, it's looking like it could be a very close session. But will that continue on for next weekend? We'll have to find out. But until then, guys, that has been it. I hope you enjoy it. We will see you then, guys, next weekend on Friday, to be exact, for the final set of preseason tests, this time at the Sequito DRF Angle Nieto circuit in Spain, as it's recently been renamed that track as to that. And, uh, yeah, that will take place for the final four days of preseason testing before the start of the new season. But until then, guys, that has been it. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching. I've been JWF1, and I'll see you guys next weekend for the final four days of preseason testing. Till then, take care.